there's a dude who calls himself anonymous team. I am anonymous team. Mm. So anonymous team always says shit I find to be hilarious. I'm just a critic, man. Tirerenting. Tirerenting ting. What's up? Tirerenting. Tirerenting ting. Tende, tende, tende. Anonymous team is in the building. What's up? What's up? Ah, okay, iko chini. Yo, ni aje watu wangu, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am Anonymous Team. Today I'm doing things a little bit different. You all know that I rarely react on local Kenyan celebrities, but um today, <clears throat> courtesy of what has been happening over the Easter holiday, I have decided to take it upon myself and react on Akothe's wedding. Now, personally, I don't have a problem with Akothe. Never had a problem with a call there. It's just that um, this event, her wedding, um, has been like a big news all over the country. So of course, definitely, Anonymous team has to react on it. Now, on this particular video, we have Aisha Jumwa uh, clothing a call there in a cash necklace. This is courtesy of Citizen TV. Um, Kuna video zingine za kina watuka kina Mungaiv, but Mungaiv ni mtiaji. There's a time I reacted on a video she uploaded and the, and the bitch manze gave me a copyright strike. Then I called the boyfriend, uh, you know, let me not call him that word Kibe calls him. So I called the boyfriend, you know, um, we spoke, but he was giving me some bitch energy, you know, some female energy. Of course, Mungaiv, I could hear Mungaiv at the background barking, barking. You know, like a chihuahua on the background. So I said, you know, fuck you guys, fuck you, man, and fuck that YouTube channel. So the YouTube channel was never closed, ideally. You know, but ni kasema wacha tu ni funge yo channel, wacha ni a channel na yo channel. At that time, ni kam ni create he, and there and then, the man that you see here and now, anonymous team, was born, was brought forth to the world, and so far so good, manze. So. Let's go ahead and uh, react on this video. So, if you all do not know who Aisha Jumwa is, she's a cabinet secretary. Apparently, she's a murderer. You know, if you don't know, she's a murderer. There's a... <clears throat> There's... I don't know if the case is ongoing, but you know how when you're powerful in Kenya, you can get away with murder and shit like that. So, um... There was a time that Aisha Jum apparently shot someone, or rather she had a disagreement with some of her constituents, and um, you know, she, out of anger, she took the gun from her. Um, this is not allegedly, this is something, there's video evidence of this, so you know, I'm not afraid of speaking this out. If the police want to come for me they can come for me and i'll gladly show them the video evidence on youtube the evidence is there you know not the evidence of her shooting the guy of course but uh the people who are when you are affected you know they they say this and they said aisha jung is the one who took the gun from her bodyguard you know he shot that motherfucker now unfortunately um unfortunately you know the you know, the bouncer took the hit, the bouncer took the fall for the hit. And you know, I guess the case is still ongoing, but you know, these guys still get away with murder. It's Kenya, man. It's a, it's Kenya, the shithole country that we know it for. So, you know, let's go ahead and react on this. So ideally, this is blood money, blood necklace. I don't like politicians. I honestly don't. I used to like Judas Iscariot or the war, but after he, you know, shifted his loyalty from Baba, ah, to hell with him, man. To hell with him too. Judas or the war, Jalango. Judas or the war. <laughs> uh, so ideally, there's nothing uh, much, there's nothing fun about this video. Um, you know, the Akothe's supposed husband on the background, you can tell, he looks like, um... Ah, wacha tuwache icho kilori, ki, ni kibasi cha shule, kime drop watoto, wacha tuwache kipite. 
you know you can tell the mzungu guy at the background and they're looking like a scammer man they just looking aisha jumo straight in the eyes it's as if they have a fling like <laughs> oh, yeah. can you see the way she's looking at aisha the way the guy is looking at aisha jumo <laughs> huh looking at aisha jumo like eh tutapatana baadaye eh tutapatana baadaye maeneo yetu eh you know, and then again i think um, this guy is an opportunist you know white people are not rich are not as wealthy as we think them to be you know i think that uh akode is the financier of this guy i think this white guy preys on rich african women i'm a rich kenyan women you know and they sustain his lifestyle you know that's just me being a hater hopefully he's not <laughs> I wish all the best for everyone. Hopefully it's not. <laughs> okay, that was an awkward hug. Fuck. I was about to say that I hope Aisha Juma goes to hell for killing um somebody's son, somebody's father, somebody's husband. But um you know, as the good Christian that I am, I'm not going to say that, but in a perfect world man, I just hope she goes to jail man. You can't just kill someone and get away with it just because you you hold a nini high level uh, government position. Fuck that shit man. Yani that shit pisses me off. You know even with people like Kinobado with the evidence pointing at them with people like Kinababo you know listen I I appreciate what Babo Wina has done for Mbakasi East but that does not change the fact that he shot DJ involved in cold blood he could have killed the you know the dude and now dude has been paralyzed like a potato for all those years man they end shit man it's not fair it's not fair you know at the, at the same measure that 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 you measure it to others so should it be measured to you babu kwanza babu you know, at least with babu you know obado you know you know we didn't see so as the public we never saw him shoot or kill the lady but um with babu you know we saw it there's video evidence of the motherfucker shooting dj evolved in cold blood motherfucker that motherfucker needs to be in jail. Fuck. But then again, it's Kenya. It's the shit all country that it is, man. It's Kenya. Fuck. Okay, at this point now the video is getting boring. Um I have nothing negative to say about a code there. Um you know. Um people have been saying a lot of shit online, but uh hey, uh Fuck people, man. They have their own opinions, man. Uh, just because she's a whore doesn't mean that <laughs> she didn't <care. laughs> Okay, okay, okay. I think a hoe is a little bit extreme, you know. She doesn't stand on the streets and selling her coochie there. But, you know, you get the drill, people. So, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you share, make sure you like, make sure you subscribe. See you on the next video.